Hey guys, welcome back to Office 365 Concepts. Today we are going to learn how to create poll in Teams. We will see how users can do voting in a poll during the meeting, before the meeting, or after a Teams meeting. We will also see how we can view the voting results and much more. So let's get started. As an organizer of the meeting, you can create a poll in Teams to get feedback on a topic. If you are providing training, you can ask your students to share feedback through poll, or you can ask questions through a poll. To create a poll in Microsoft Teams, we will use Microsoft Forms. Let's go to Calendar in Teams application. Here I have a meeting created already, and I want to use a poll within this meeting. To create a poll using Microsoft Forms, double click the meeting to edit. At the top, click plus icon, and here look for Forms. If you do not see forms in this list, then you can search for forms in this search box. And then you need to add it and open forms. Click save, click new poll, click multiple choice. And here you can add the topic and you can add the options. So this way you can add a topic and options in a poll. If you want to add more options, click add option and you can add more options as well. If you want to allow users to select multiple answers, you can enable multiple selections, but we are going to allow users to select only one option, so we will leave this option disabled. Now, if you click this gear icon at the bottom, you will see a few more options. If we want to see the name of the people who has done voting, you can select this option, and the creator of this poll can see the name of those users. If you want that when a user does voting, he should see the voting results, you can leave this option checked. And if you want to allow the co-presenter of the meeting to edit the poll, you can check this option. Once you have made the selection as per your requirement, click launch now. And we can see the poll is live. Now let's go to the other users team application. So Bob Ross is the attendee of the meeting that we just created. And we can see we have a notification here. This is the meeting subject. Let's meet. Bob Ross can see the poll is live and here is the question and he can choose the answer as well. So let's select Microsoft 365 and click submit vote. At the bottom, we can see the response of the voting. As of now, only one response is submitted and we can see the result as well. Let's switch the profile and let's join this meeting from concepts user application. Now to do voting during the meeting, the user will click polls. And here we can see the poll that is created and this poll is live. Now to do voting, user can simply submit the answer. For example, Azure and click submit. Now this is the organizer. Concepts is the organizer of this poll and the meeting. Now once voting is done, you can see the responses. Click on this drop down and click response details. We can see the results here, but if you want to export this output to Excel file, you can click export and this will download an Excel file. So like this, you can export the results into an Excel file. Once the voting is done, you can click this drop down arrow and you can close the poll. Or if a user wants to do voting after the meeting, you can leave the meeting and he will get a notification for the poll. He will go to the poll and he can submit the voting. That is all for now. If you found this video helpful and informative, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to write them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.